All right, I'm Jeff Leach, and I'm here for Scene Junkie. Today, I'm going to be interviewing the brand new cast of Skins, asking them what it's all about. It's going to be exciting stuff. There's going to be sex, drugs, rock and roll. Let's go and have a chat with them, shall we? really are you going to top the last two series? I mean, I've watched episode one, right? You've had sex, drugs, alcohol, fires, rock and roll, great music, pornography. I mean, is there anything else that can really happen in the rest of the episodes? I'd just say the relationships get very... Uh, uh, Interesting, it's much yeah, more colourful. Deep, deep, yeah. Very the stories deep. get deeper. How deep? We're talking emotion. 10 meter pool. There's emotion. There's not, there's, there isn't any emotion in episode one. Throughout the rest of the series, there is emotion. and there's So episode one is really to introduce your characters, yeah. let so people know. Yeah, and you make your stereotypes and judgments of the characters in episode and one. Then, but then the whole series... So, for instance, your character is a bit of a bitch. Yeah. Your character is a little bit yeah. meek and shy. Your character likes to les it up a little bit. <laughs> is that That's what we've been, we've been led to believe. Yes. But by episode three... Do you she see why they're like that? Merv, tell me about Thomas. We don't see him in episode one, which I was quite upset no. about. He sounds like a very interesting character. Tell me a bit about him. Um, Thomas, he's just arrived in the country. You know, he's come from Congo. He's in search of a new lifestyle. Um, sorry, a better life. When are we actually going to get to see him? What episode? He arrives episode three. In episode three. He arrives episode three. That's actually his episode as well. You know how they feature every character has his own episode. That's actually his episode where he arrives. And his journey in the series is that discovering that England isn't what he initially thought it would be. It's not quite the picture of, uh, of prosperity and, and joy and goodwill to all men. It's more about sex, drugs, rock and roll, MySpace parties. Exactly, exactly. When, when he arrives, he thinks, yes, everyone's going to be as considerate as me, nice as me. And he gets here and he's like, wow, these British kids are crazy. Karen obviously comes into uh, the episodes a little bit later on. What episode do we meet her? Uh, episode two. How's she going to sort of strike out? Because I know nothing about Karen. I've only seen episode one. Tell me a little bit about her. She's a bit of a mean person. You want to say a little bit of a bitch, didn't I you? Did. I think we're allowed to say I'm that. Allowed to say that? Yeah, she's a bitch. Absolute, she's a right bitch. Absolute total bitch. And this, uh, that must be one of the best characters to play in the world, surely, oh. playing someone nasty. I love playing someone mean. What's her, what's, what's her sort of demeanour then? What's she about? Oh, she wants to become famous. Like, not no particular sort of industry. She just wants the fame. Fame hungry yeah. through and through. Which is, um, you know, I think a lot of people are like that now. They don't sort of want to go into an industry like acting or dancing or singing they just want to be in the public eye and be photographed and stuff so I think she's kind of a good representation of you know some of the girls out there what's it like coming back and, and playing your character again but a little bit more mature and a little bit more sex orientated it's been really fun um I've gained a bit more confidence and it's just been it's been a laugh completely like a laugh because she's a comic relief character for the first few episodes anyway yeah. and it's just, it's just been hilarious to play it's just so funny what about you JJ tell me a bit more about your character now he's quite a shy sweet kind of guy do you think he finds love maybe further on I think he does I think he does let's be honest is he going to get laid you, uh, yeah. It's, yeah? It's the underdog story. Sorry. He said, yeah. Is this official? This is breaking news. Are you going to get in trouble? Oh, fingers are being wagged by the publicity department. It's fine. It's all right. He's going to have sex. JJ's going to have sex. And, like, that's amazing. Uh, was it better on screen? Was it better off screen? Because my first experience on of off screen. screen was quite embarrassing. On screen is very embarrassing, I'll tell you that. It's because you work with it, you work, you work with these people closely. You in a like work environment for six months, and then all of a sudden you have to sort of drop your pants and yeah, get, get exactly. bombastic yeah. if you li <laughs> if you live in the early nineties. <laughs> I want to know which one would you go out with if you were going to do it in real life, if you were that way inclined. Uh, oh, baby cat, because she's less scary than Meg. Oh, so we've just. We've just broken up friendships. And what's going to happen with your character then? Is she going to find her surf and turf, do we think, at some point in the series? There is a possibility. She definitely tries to get on the naughty side of things because Effie's such a bad influence. And what about you as a real person? I mean, are you, are, are you, are you more driven by sexual desires or are you driven by love? <laughs> I can only imagine that might... Might, might, obviously that means you're driven by love as opposed to sexual desires. 
Well, you'll be able to tell me because obviously you appeared in the last series. What is it about this series that's going to stand out from the last two? I think it's got like a bit of both of the first two series. It's got the humour of the first one. I think the first episode's hilarious. So I really enjoyed filming it and doing it and watching it. It's got all the serious issues and it's like a whole new show because it's a whole new bunch of people with new problems, new situations. New stories to explore. Yeah, exactly. But it's still got the skins element of it, of just having fun and being a teenager. Throwing things off the table, putting Effie on the desk. Good on you, son. That's not too bad, is it? It's not work, is it? It's not work. It's all play. It's all fun. Jobs. There are worse jobs. It's probably been the fluffer for you on that scene. I can imagine would have been a worse job. <laughs> we don't get fluffers, you know. We have to handle it all ourselves. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but in episode one, Cook, your best mate, yeah. rumps her on the nurse's table. On the nurse's desk, yeah. It gives her a good scene too. Well, how does Freddie deal with it? I mean, is there um, going to be a big punch up? I mean, Freddie, Freddie kind of keeps himself, keeps it quiet, you know, and that's, that's the story of Freddie's life, kind of just sit back and not do anything about his problems. But later on in the series, you do see Freddie get up and make a statement about this and kind of kind of start, you know, kind of decides that he's going to live, live his life for himself. Were you upset that your character didn't get to have sex in the first episode? Uh, yeah, a little bit, yeah. It's sort of Let's be honest, you've watched that sex scene back anyway and enjoyed yourself, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. It's my favourite part of the whole series. I just Me too, we can get together sometime and watch it. Yeah. Thank you so much for talking to us for MySpace today. And uh, best of luck with the series, it's going to be amazing. Cool. And try and get your legs together. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Is that right? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs>